Julia Fox's journal brings perusers down the channel with her through her initial work as a dominatrix in her 2019 breakout job in Whole Pearls. The book, out now, closes with a section of her life many are know all about, as observers, her relationship with Yi. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. While Yi is never named in the journal and is alluded to just as, the craftsman, Fox gives adequate subtleties that leave no question she is alluding to her experience with the disputable mainstream society figure, and they are enlightening. While Fox's short relationship with Yi overwhelmed the two sensationalist newspapers and the web talk, its secret was essential for the interest. Paparazzi snaps and photograph shoots like the one that showed up in Interview magazine portrayed the pair as an in vogue power couple. By her own record, nonetheless, Fox's relationship with Yi was off kilter, disappointing, and, she presently thinks, an uneven exposure stunt including Birkins, spontaneous boob bids for employment, and, as apparently every other person in Hollywood, playing Uno. Underneath, a few remarkable minutes Fox shared about their relationship. I get a text from a close buddy inquiring as to whether he can give my number to a popular craftsman who's been inquiring as to myself, Fox composes. I don't respect it from the beginning. I've attached with VIPs previously and I definitely know they're solely after a certain something. He obtusely asks me, could you need to be my sweetheart? Fox composes. I in a flash burst out chuckling. He must be joking. A picture taker circles the table, snapping genuine photographs of us mid-sentence. He circles back to, how might you feel about taking our relationship public? An alternate rendition of this story showed up in Interview magazine. While Fox says she presented a, point-by-point -point section describing bit-by-bit -bit the way in which we met, Yi sent back, a totally new rendition that sounds in no way like me and is totally manufactured. On a three-way call with one of his collaborators, they in the end arrived on a rendition in the center that later showed up in the magazine. In any case, the seed of uncertainty had been established in my brain, and I can't shake the inclination, Fox composes. One of their most memorable dates was playing Uno. After their New Year's Eve meeting, Fox says she awakened to, many missed calls and texts, from Yi. He welcomes her to his room, where they, go through the day playing Uno in a game that includes featuring positive words in the word reference and arriving at the place of understanding that there aren't a large number. Steamy. During their most memorable supper date at Carbone, Yi purportedly requested more candles for the table, modifying them, making a half moon around the border of the table. He then, Fox composes, subsequent to eliminating the additional glasses and flatware, move the whole table, three feet to one side so we can get a superior perspective on the section of cement on the structure. This gives off an impression of being the piece of cement on the structure. After supper at Carbone with Concrete, they head back to Yi's lodging and Fox puts on A24 Zola, featuring Taylor Page, Riley Keough, Nicholas Braun, and Coleman Domingo. Yi clearly, goes gaga for it, which prompts him to book himself and Fox passes to Slave Play, in New York City additionally composed by Jeremy O. Harris, whom Fox then acquaints with Yi by means of text. This isn't as business as usual for Kardashian fans, who saw Yi's effect on X Kim's style throughout the long term. With Fox, he was especially forceful, venturing to such an extreme as to secretively bring in one of her beauticians in a date to give her new outfit choices since he could have done without what Fox was wearing, in the event that you can accept it, this tale likewise happens at Carbone. Fox's beauticians were her two companions, Tammy and Liana, whom Yi recruited after she showed him their work. At the point when the pair split, Tammy and Liana kept working for Yi, proceeding to style his next sweetheart. In the long run, this made a fracture in their kinships. While Liana